I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the first time. And today, we're going to make candles. Our lovely subscriber, Kamikaze Steve, sent us this candle making kit um, off of our Amazon wish list. If you would like to help support the channel and be like Kamikaze Steve, uh, go over there and check it out. We'll leave a link below. And if there's nothing there you want to get us, check back later on. We put stuff, new stuff on there all the time. All the cool kids check back often. Mm -hmm. Also, all the cool kids hit the bell. It's like right down there so that they always know when the most recent episode has launched because, you know, the algorithm won't always show you our content. Let's, 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 let's do it. Let's do let's it. Dive in. Oh, let's do that again this year. <laughs> Camel making kit. So I have made candles before using the scraps from leftover candles from parties that I've thrown. Really? Yeah. Just I melt take, them into a I just thing? bought a giant mold and just strung the little stringy. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I didn't look it up. I just melted stuff and poured it in there and used the candles again next year. So this time we're going to learn it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's melty, melty, story, story, pori, pori. But uh, this is from Jewel Whisper Candle Making Kit. It's supposed mm. to have everything you need. Oh, there's inside. so much. Yeah, there's Ooh, lots of stuff. Plus in signs there. are everywhere. Ooh, here's our little tins. Look how pretty <gasps> they are. We've got what looks like some dyes and some Ooh, wicks. That's and a lot of dyes. Uh -huh, uh huh. I guess this is the sh the, the the candle. Okay. In, in its natural state. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that is the candle these are, in the wild. These are tools. Nice. Those are some nice tools. So we got one, two, Oh, the tins are pretty. Three. <gasps> Those are gorgeous. Four tins at least. There's a thermometer, which is awesome. Wow. Oh, another nice. tin. But more soap. I mean, that's not soap. More soy wax. More soy wax. There's so many tins. Pour a pour thing. Okay. Nice. All right. Cool. Step one. Setting up the candle tin. Prepare two. Mm. So, some wicks are shipped or packaged looking a little wild or crooked. No need to worry. Run your fingers along the wick to smooth it out. Mm. Good. Straight. Okay. Good. Next. Next thing. Place a wick glue dot on the end of the wick, then remove the paper backing from sticker. Sticky, sticky. Wicky, wicky. <laughs> sticky, sticky. The wicky, wicky. Step two. Done. Press down firmly to secure the wick in the center. Inside the candle tin. Not Pressing. the center. It's definitely not, not, yeah, mine's not, not center. Centered. <laughs> center the top of the wick using the wick centering device. Wick centered. Okay, step two, melting wax. That's only step two. How is that those three steps all step one? Okay, step two, we're gonna melt the wax. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get intricate. One bag of this stuffy stuff. Soy wax. Into this picture that came with it. We're gonna put this into a pot of water, making a double boiler, I'm pretty sure is what that's called. Okay. We're gonna melt it down to 185 degrees, stirring it to help it melt. Mm -hmm. We reach that heat and then we set it aside. Let it cool a little bit, a little bit, because okay. now we're only going down to 176 degrees, and that's okay. when we add the color. So we're gonna wanna cut those little color blocks into smaller pieces, approximately 0 0.07 ounce, half of a packed dye. Oh, okay. This green, time. is that what we decided? I think green, because green's in both of ours. Green. Okay, sure, okay. Let's green. So green. All right, before we move on to the next thing, let's also pick our smell. Add fragrance oil. One bag of wax need pour. Yeah, it happens. Oh, cool, cute. All uh, the time. <laughs> one bag of wax will need one bottle of fragrance oil. A whole bottle? What? No. Wow. That's a lot. Well, you want it to smell. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Love and Inspire. Okay. Petal, rose petal. Okay, got like. it. All right. Let's see. Love and Inspire tells me nothing. Looks like that's rose petal. I don't think I've ever smelled inspiration. This one is orange and Ooh. lemon. Mm. Um, it's called Refreshing and Energized. Okay. Which okay. might be good with oh, green. I get you know? it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. They're describing the emotional habit when you smell this. <laughs> okay, I'm there. I'm with and you. this one is. Oil and lav I mean, lavender, no. and it's calm and relaxed. Not that one. That's that one just throw that away. I'll just take that one home. I think this might be the better one for a green yeah, candle. Yeah, I think, think that's that. Uh -huh. Orange and orange and lemon. Okay, great. Okay, so what we need to do now is make a bath for that. Is yes. that what it's called? <laughs> make a bath. A double boiler. Yeah, a bath. I, I don't even know if I'm right. All right, a so bath. that means it's time to go to the stove. Go to the stove.
since we did all the uh -huh. science part. Now uh -huh. we have to the pori pour pour That's pour, it? I think. Okay. Yeah. We need to make sure it says we'll continue to monitor. This temperature drops so quickly. Oh my God, so fast. Uh, reaches 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Stir again, I already did that, and then carefully pour the wax oil into the two prepared tins. Fill each tin a quarter of an inch from the top. Okay. Do not move the can the candle until it cools down. That's pretty color. Ooh, that's a Ooh. real pretty color. Liking the color. Okay, so I'm gonna. This is not. This is a U job. Pouring okay. is a U job. I'm gonna move this over here. <laughs> here we go. Don't pour it on me. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty color. An inch from the top. Here. I can't see inside that oh, tin. I have no idea. Okay, let me recenter these. Okay, we center, we center. Which I think we're centered. I think we're centered. Now we let them let them be. Okay. Overnight. All right. They smell good. It smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. I feel energized. Yeah, and refreshed. All right. See you guys, See you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, Doke, we are back. Our candles have set overnight. The color is beautiful. I love the color. I just really right? looked at that. Wow. It's funny how low your candle actually yeah. is. It looked so much higher when it we did. were when we were pouring it. It, did it was look so, so hard much higher. to see inside there. Remember at the end, it looked like I was like, oh, oh, watch mm -hmm. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. pretty low. Yeah. So shine a light. You need a you need a torch. Uh, you need a, <laughs> you need a, a candle. A candle. 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 Well, the only thing we have left to do is to trim our candle wick to one fourth of an inch. So we pull this out of here. Okay. And then now we're going to trim the wick to one fourth of an inch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you want a ruler? Not really. Got it. Ready mine? Sure. Good job. That looks perfect. I want the same thing for mine. Goodbye. There were no there were notes on here about burning candles. Okay, important burning blah, 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 blah. important burning tips. As with all candles, the first burn is the most important. To begin, candles should burn at least two to three hours on your first burn. I've never heard that in my entire life. I've never heard any guidance on how you burn a candle. I've just heard light this candle. That's no, all I've ever heard. That's, that's why I found this so fascinating. It says <gasps> you should for two to three hours. Candles should not be burned for more than four hours at a time. It is recommended that after burning for four hours, candles hours, candles be extinguished allowed to cool for two hours and then trimmed before relighting. So it's really about like that pull up that comes around it and stuff yeah. and trimming down your wick and stuff like that. I've like, definitely never done that. Yeah, and you, but do you know how like when you go, like I'm sure I didn't do this right. This candle is not no. has not been treated, right? Mm -mm, um, no, I had no idea there were rules. Do you have candle rules? <laughs> I'd love to hear your candle <laughs> rules, comment below. I'm not gonna follow those rules because I really wanna light. Oh, I can leave, we can light mine. Cause you we can't light and leave going for two hours. Oh, you right. might take it home, but we can light right. mine. Okay. And leave it burning for, Let's do that. for All right. two hours. All right. All right. All See right. See how it smells. It smells amazing. All right. Oh man, that smells good. Come right. on, baby, light my candle. The algorithm will get us. Oh, that's true. It's the butts. Okay, I mean, let really easy. It's a good wax. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Can you guys see that? No, Look it's at too this. low. There we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Very nice. And the smell. Don't get too close. Don't want to set my bangs on fire. Come on, set your bangs on fire. I can't smell it yet. Mm, I can't I went nose blind. But, but they're beautiful. I, love I it. like them. This kid's great. I definitely would suggest it. Thank you again, Kamikaze C, for mm -hmm. sending us this off the wish list. We really appreciate your support of the show. And also, you make great suggestions. Hashtag hot sauce. And Allie is going to continue to enjoy her candle for the next two hours per our instructions. But not four. But not four. <laughs> no more than that. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Tricep. Don't forget to hit the bell. Subscribe to our channel. Share this with your friends because it really does help us defeat the evil algorithm mm -hmm. monsters. And tell us what your favorite candle scent is mm. in the comments below. Love that. <laughs> I love that.